I hear a koala is pretty lazy. They move slowly. They spend a lot of time sleeping. They take life easy. Okay, this one's good for this journal. Truth cleans house. Your house. This is from June 29th, second one of the day, Mayan day, eight Jaguar or Jaguar. Never know just how to say that one. Okay, are you beginning to see how life is a dance here in 3D? And how Source is the one quite willing and able to dance us all. Source is dancing everything into manifestation anyway, you know. That's quite a reasonable perspective on this life to take. We have some beautiful dancing done, too, by the one called Shiva. I don't know enough about it, but I wonder at the Hindu understanding. I am sure it has much light to offer us if we could get past our prejudice, the nonsense our religions bestow separating out brother from brother and sister, they do. Moving on, as always, we step back a bit from our identification with material things here below. And that includes both body and mind and our feelings too. All these are material things too. Just because our science is not looking beneath the surface of life, that doesn't mean anything. Some are. For there are cameras now. Take pictures of your aura. <laughs> Quite expensive they are, but they exist. The aura is measurable, is visible, is another less dense form of matter, my friends. Thoughts are things, too, you know. Maybe koala bears can see them. Hmm. Anyway, they are visible to some, can be measured and tracked with the right set of stuff. Much of this we have, but it's been suppressed. Got to keep us ignorant, controlled. My point being that there is more to the material plane than that which our eyes and ears, our five senses, report. Can you accept this idea? Let it in? Let it wander around in you? See what comes up when you do. Truth is a powerful being. When we come on some truth, Take it in for to ponder, examine it. Prepare for some change, for it's coming your way. Truth is self-intelligent. It is alive and active then, more active than koala bears. It will find everything that conflicts with its abiding in you. It will bring it up and show it to you. This won't necessarily happen right away. Sometimes our beliefs are buried far below conscious mind. Outer awareness is unaware what they are. Yet, truth will penetrate below. Enter all levels of being it will. It will clean house above and below. Many things it will simply burn up. It will sweep all the rest that is dust, that is dirt, up to sea. That which we believed and accepted, it's stored in there. These will come up in thoughts or in feelings for you. That's truth in action, my friends. Stay in heart. Be alert. Don't be hasty to condemn things as meaningless, unimportant, for they're not. Thus, if you don't know that everything is source talking, that everything is laced through and through with deeper significance, 
then you won't pay attention to the little things, to the thoughts and feelings that arise. Your eyes won't be quite open enough. <laughs> so, do you see how, once you become aware of this, how that changes your life? How that begins to change even the whole reality show here below. You look out of new eyes, more of the action to see. It was there all along, but my friend, you didn't know. Nor were you ready to hear, or you would have, you know. Things happen when we're ready for them. So, be alert. Don't be like a koala bear. Just observe. Do begin, too, to see some of the depth that observing can give to the show, 3D play. Do you begin to see it? It has many more layers and levels that we just didn't know that it had. We were programmed, you know, to stay on the surface of life. It's that programming now that's beginning to go, to dissolve, clear our eyes, help our vision below in 3D, more of the show for to see. And, oh, this is just the beginning, you know. There's much more to see. Disidentification's the key, lets us in, gives us seat for this act. Not until we pull back from things can we then now see deeper meaning underneath action they bring, what they are. Nothing, no nothing, as is at all what it first seems to be.